Welcome back to Healing at Home with our subject Ozone. Now today we talk about the dangers in using ozone. And believe me, this is just a one slide show because there are hardly any dangers. The only one you need to be careful about is breathing it in. You don't want to breathe in ozone that comes directly out of an ozone generator. Now you very often breathe in ozone when you're outside after a thunderstorm, after lightning. You know that lightning storm produces millions of ozone particles that you can smell in the air and they clean out the air, they disinfect the air and they give you massive amount of oxygen uptake but they irritate the lungs. Now even in small uh, dosages it can damage the lung. It can cause chest pain, coughing, shortness of breath and throat irritation. It may also worsen chronic respiratory diseases such as asthma and compromise the ability for the body to fight respiratory infections. So we don't want that. And that's why it's very simple. You don't breathe it in. Now in very short or tiny quantities, like if a little bit escapes, it's not a problem. But if it's ongoing and you turn on the ozone generator and let it blow into the room, it's not good. So what we do is in all the following videos, I will mark that area very specific how we avoid taking in ozone into the lungs. Once you learn that, it's absolutely safe. When you know how to do the treatments safely that you don't breathe it in and we actually show you how you can destroy ozone directly and convert it back into oxygen very simply by all those treatments that we use. So that's danger number one. Danger number two is false applications, for example, direct injections into the blood. Now a lot of practitioners to avoid all the complication, they soak up ozone and directly into the vein and slowly let it go into the vein. Now that can irritate the vein, that can cause burnings if it's too strong, if the vein is slightly punctured. So that's the only reason why some accidents happened or injuries from needles when they puncture the vein, when they cause bruising. That's the only dangers that were ever reported out of 5.2 million studies, applications in Europe, 0.08% accident and only by use of needles. So it's not the ozone which is dangerous, it's the application that can make it. And that's why again we show you very safe ways, very easy methods on how you can do it without any risk at all. All right? And now move on to the next video in our channel, Healing at Home, how to use ozone at home and how to build a proper kit that gives you all applications at once.